Mm. <laughs> well, crazy, you're crazy, crazy people. <laughs> well, at least the weather is going to be fantastic for those here, who are here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You take a trip down to the shore or up to any of the lake resorts that we've got. I mean, it looks like really. Well, overall, pretty phenomenal forecast. I do have wet weather that potentially arrives on Labor Day itself, but generally speaking, this is good stuff, and we can thank high pressure for it. I mean, I'll take credit too, but <laughs> we can definitely thank high pressure for the pattern change that we've experienced since yesterday, where it was definitely muggy. We had the front cross through. That's long since made its departure, and as soon as you walked out the door this morning, you probably noticed how much more comfortable it feels outside, and that is holding true on storm scan. It's been empty all morning. It stays that way for the rest of the day, so with this nice clear sky, you you can expect that you're going to see bright blue sky all afternoon. There's virtually no cloud cover that I can find anywhere, save for the patchiest of clouds in a couple of spots. And again, that's all thanks to high pressure with the sinking motion that you get under the, the influence of these cells of high pressure. You're going to end up with just nice, clear conditions. But because of that, it allows us to warm up as we go throughout the day. So mid 80s is where we top off. Now you can see what's left of the front that had crossed through. It's still making its full exit off my map here, but it's actually also swallowing up what's left of Aaron and now a post tropical cyclone, so it didn't really have much bearing on our forecast here locally. Of course, Dorian, as we talked about earlier in the show, is much heavier of a hitter here. But Aaron, even though it's potentially going to bring some drenching rain to Atlantic Canada, is not a concern for the U.S. coastline. So good news in that regard, but moderate risk for rip currents does accompany the rest of the day today. And you can tell that the breeze is kicking in the uh, the, the camera here out at Cape May. So while it may be a beautiful looking beach day all in all, it is breezy outside and you want to take it easy and certainly be smart and careful about stepping into the waves on a day like this. However, it does look like we're going to continue the trend here moving forward with some really quiet weather at the beaches and everywhere else. And looking at the dew points, though, this tells you the story when it comes to comfort, right? The lower this number gets, the more comfortable it is. It may be a little breezy, but it's a refreshing breeze outside. And the highest dew point we have is 62. Now, remember the benchmark for it to feel at all humid is 65. So human wildwood is feeling pretty comfortable right now. Here's a look at our actual air temperatures right now. You're up at 83 already in Atlantic City, 79 in Philly, and 70 up at Mount Pocono. And the telltale issue of that northwest wind being represented here at all three observation sites. So it's not a damaging wind by any stretch, but it's the one, if you want to call it mar on the forecast, that you have to contend with a breeze today. So, you know, what would otherwise have been the most perfect hair day is a little, you know, messed up, no pun intended, just because you'll have a breeze to contend with, but it's still really nice outside. Beautiful weather in the sunshine, comfortable warmth, as we mentioned, up to about 83 in the city. As we saw, we're already there in Atlantic City. And this is a seven day that features nothing but highs into the 80s. So we keep that consistent theme going here tomorrow as well as Saturday featuring the sunshine. Now, technically, there is a very wimpy front that's coming through Friday night, but it doesn't look like it's going to do much. I think it comes through dry. It does knock the temperatures back just a couple of degrees heading into Saturday, but still some really nice weather throughout sunshine. Monday. Monday, though, is that day that we may see a couple of showers or thunderstorms, but even then, it's still just a chance and it wouldn't be a washout, so it's not bad at all. Sounds I love good it. to me. <laughs> Thank I'm you, Katie. <laughs>